I'm here to talk about strengthening ties between Malaysia and Myanmar with a special focus on Palm Y. Malaysia currently accounts for 39% of wool palm wine production and 44% of wool exports. Malaysia exports more than 150 countries. And Malaysia fulfills worldwide and fats needs. What products can be produced from palm oil? From palm oil, there's not only edible oil, but also numerous products can be produced. It's estimated that 1.5 million farmers producing palm oil throughout the world. Majority of them are in Indonesia and Malaysia. From palm fruit, palm kanawa, and pomate, they're the most common items in ice cream, chips, chocolate, biscuits, margarine, and personal care products such as detergent, soap, toothpaste, and in the cosmetics. These are palm oil imports in Myanmar. And in 2008 and 2009, it's about 290 million US dollar. In 2009 to 2010, it's about 180 million US dollar, and in 2010 and 2011, it's about 200 million US dollar. It's in 2011 to 2012, it's about 390 million US dollar. In 2012 to 2013, it's about 300 million US dollar. So the highest is is in 2011 to 2012, which is 390 million US dollar. And the lowest is in 2009 to 2010, which is 180 million US dollar. So which part of the Denai division the palm wise are white palms are cultivated? So in three regions the white palms are cultivated. In the way Ye and Godang regions are cultivated. So it's about three fifty thousand acres are cultivated. In Godang region is where it is most cultivated, it's about 280,000 acres are cultivated, and the second most is where in May are uh, most cultivated. It's about 440,000 uh, 44, acres cultivated, and the least cultivated is in the way. It's about 28,000 acres cultivated. And what can corporations do? It's like we need a lot of help from Malaysia. And in terms of cultivation and growth, and um, with the help of Malaysia, we will develop much faster than with, with Myanmar alone. Um, the current status of Myanmar, palm oil development. Um, white palm was introduced to Myanmar in 1921. In 1999, there was a white palm plantation project, which is a 0.2 million hectare white palm plantation project was established in the Nilai Division. Uh, uh, Myanmar is still deficient in palm oil because it was um, um, because we're consuming about 850,000 But a fifty thousand metric tons, but 
but we're producing only 550,000 metric tons, so we're still lacking 300,000 metric tons, so we're still deficient in edible wine. So to achieve the sufficiency of edible wine, we need to establish wine industries, crude palm wine mills, and refinery plants. We have plants at about three, um, 350,000 acres, which, of which 42 are local, and one foreign company and two joint venture companies. One foreign is by Republic of Korea, and two is by Malaysia, Myanmar. Um, palm oil has been planted mainly in the Denai Division. It's because, because the Denai Division has a favorable climate and it has a large, long land space. And during cooperation with local company, many company planted nursery wild palm in 1999 and planted main wild palm in the year 2000. Our government provided necessary policy and agriculture import growth and technology and methods. Wild palm plantation. 0.32 million acres in 2011 and 2012 in the Denai region, and 0.33 million acres planted in the whole country, so just about 0.01 million acres in the other region. And the list of major companies are Yusna, Bogong, South Dagon, and Dagon Timber, and Asia Wall. Among them, the largest planted company is Yusna, and Yuzna has planted about 0.1 million acres, which is about 100,000 acres of white palm plant has been planted, and they have a FFB milling factory that can produce 60 tons, and their capacity is about 300 tons per hour. Refinery plant has been built in Yangon in 2006. And there are some cooperation with international company as well. We we do the inter we do the cooperation with international companies because doing cooperation with international company can widen agricultural knowledge and experience. We exchange expertise. We strengthen the relationship. We broaden the knowledge. Wildbound plantation with Korea is 100% foreign investment. This foreign investment is planted 100,600 acres. The Wildbound plantation with Malaysia is by two companies, Myanmar Raya Pre-State Plantation. Myanmar Raya Pre-State Plantation planted about 30,000 acres. Another company is Myanmar Star Pristine Plantation. It has planted about 25,000 acres. They both use product sharing system. The role of palm oil in Myanmar. Myanmar is edible oil deficient country. Like, like I say, it's because Myanmar, you, Myanmar, Myanmar consume about 850,000 metric tons, but but Myanmar produced only 550,000 metric tons, so we are lacking 300,000 metric tons, so like we are edible wine deficient country. Population of Myanmar in 2011 is about 60 million, but there are some ancient government census and rural villages, so we, we are even needing more edible wine. The bar capital consumption is 5.64 bits per head per year. The annual consumption is about 0.5 million metric tons. Domestic production is about 0.2 million metric tons. Domestic production is about 0.2 million metric tons per year. Imported is nearly 0.3 million metric tons per year. 53% of total edible wild consumption is palm oil, so efforts are being made to extend wild palm cultivation. 
So there are about 44 companies and a lot of acres are about 990,000. Planted acres are about 300,000. This is where the this midnight division, this is where the palm wives are planted. One third of a lot of acres have Planted agriculture, trade, and investment environment in agriculture sector. Border trade with neighboring countries operates at 13 border trading posts. There are various reform measures, such as decontrolling economic activities, price, export, import. Basically, domestic agriculture marketing is free and major share lies in the hand of private sector and foreigners are allowed to make investment in Myanmar and foreigners are welcome to invest in Myanmar. There are four major local companies. There are 42 local companies, but there are four major companies. Among them, Yuzna is the most active. There are 28,000 to 80,000 acres allotted and 150,000 has been planted in Gautam and they have a crude palm oil factory which can produce 60 tons per hour and Bogan has planted 11,000 acres in Bopin and 2,002 acres in Yeh and Sao Degong has allotted about 13,000 acres allotted and 8,000 acres planted in Bobien and they have a crude palm oil factory which can produce 7.5 tons per hour. Asian Wall has a very good plantation standard. They has uh, they, they has Planted about nearly 9,000 in the Ninai region, of which about 1,300 are in Yay. It's about foreign investment in palm oil plantation. It's an auto industrial group, 100% foreign direct investment. Demara Priestic Plantation is joint venture between Priestic Platform Malaysia and Raya Golden Pearl. Myanmar, Myanmar Stock Priestage Plantation, joint venture between Priestage Platform Malaysia and Stock Myanmar. Opportunities for investing palm oil in Myanmar is opportunity for investing in palm oil is because opportunity for doing business in agriculture abandoned. It's because over fifty percent of total animal oil consumption is palm oil. A huge palm oil domestic market, and three neighboring country of Myanmar demand for thirty percent of palm oil import. So it's a good opportunity to invest in palm oil. Why? Why we should invest in Myanmar? It's because Myanmar will remain agricultural country for long. We were based on agricultural country for long and we won't we won't in the near future will change to industrialized country. And, and investment in commercial plantations are highly encouraged. And plantation of industrial crops such as rubber and white palm are welcome. And we compared to Malaysia. We will lack in technology, cultivation, and production methods, investment, and knowledge from Malaysia. So, in order to improve in to improve in our palm oil industry, we need technology and method from Malaysia. So, why is it good to invest in Myanmar? It's because we have a low labor cost. It's like imagine in Malaysia, like how can we get a salary of hundred US dollar 
for one whole month. In Myanmar, as we can get a label with 80 US dollar per month, 100 US dollar per month, so like it's very cheap labor. And diverse ecological conditions, very good weather, strategic geographical condition, but there's some certain constraints and drawbacks. We have a lack of research and development, poor technology, human resource development, and some lack of facilitation of trade and investment. Myanmar produced 550,000 metric tons of edible wall and consumed 850,000 metric tons in 2012, which means we're consuming more than we produce. That means we need to rely on our importers such as Malaysia to fulfill our gap of 300,000 met metric tons. Edible wine from Bang Wai remains cheaper than other type of vegetable wine. So like we have to import edible wine from Malaysia for the next 20 years in the future. So I believe these factors that have been listed above will tie the relationship between Malaysia and Myanmar for the long term. Thank you very much for the attention.